I will go through what Sheen is and I will also show you what you can use it for and uh, how you can use it. In my scene here you can see I have a I have this glass bowl and this plastic bowl and this spoon here and also I have this cloth material. Really what the sheen does is it adds a layer of light around the object. Easiest way to show it is on the spoon. So if we put the roughness to 1 we can immediately start seeing that the spoon is covered in like a white layer and what's happening here is that the light bounces on the surface and it sort of bounces right away off. I will put some pictures on screen so you can see. And if we put the weight on one, it's more lights that will bounce off. And without any sheen on your object, it might not look as realistic as you want to. So I, what I usually do is I put in some weight and some roughness. I think the lower values there are, I think it looks better. So while you can make shiny objects more realistic by adding some sheen to it, like it, for example here on this glass bowl, we can add some sheen to it too, because usually glass is reflective, so it will reflect a lot of light, and also with the spoon it reflects a lot of light, so adding some sheen to it just makes sense. And I don't know if you saw that, but if we zoom in here on this little reflection here, if we turn the roughness to zero, that sort of reflection disappears. But if we turn it up a little, we can see there are some reflections here now. But for this glass bowl, I just want a little bit of roughness, not too much. And uh, this will make the glass bowl look more realistic. Same for the cloth. Without the, the sheen, it just looks like out of place, like it doesn't really fit. But if we add some sheen to it, it starts to reflect some light and it just adds realism. If you haven't noticed, all in real life objects have this sheen feature and some surfaces have more sheen and others have less sheen. Therefore it's very helpful to have reference images and also or even better real life objects. And with these real life objects you will probably see more detail. And as this bowl here and also this one I have them in real life. I have them in my room right now and it just helps me because I can look at a real life object and I can make it in 3D much easier instead of having to guess how the bowl reflects the light. If you like this video don't forget to leave it a like and uh, if you want to see more of these videos don't forget to subscribe and uh, I will see you in the next video.